here in southeast Alaska, we have a few remaining stands of old growth trees that are the best habitat for Sitka blacktail, which is a beautiful animal, worthy of hunting, amazing tasting, incredibly challenging to hunt successfully. I've been eating wild meat all my life, and if I could only eat one meat, it would no question be sick of blacktail deer. And that basically entails going into the rainforest, climbing to the top of the mountain in August, and doing all this while in proximity to an incredible dense population of brown bears. It's just probably about the wildest deer hunt you could ever do. I really love hunting. It's a really special thing. That we could carry a rifle up a mountain next to an ocean and hunt these beautiful creatures on public land, there's nothing like it. The Tongass National Forest is the largest forest we have. It's the North American equivalent of the Amazon. This is it. It doesn't get any bigger. It doesn't get any wilder. Yeah, this freeze. There, right there. Right on the, under the bank. It's looking nice. He's about 200 yards away. One of the things about wilderness, there's still apex predators, and they need a lot of space. There may be more than one per square mile here. It's one of the denser, maybe densest populations left on the planet. This is their home. They need this wild space. If we open it up for development, they don't have a home. So a big reason why we chose this particular mountain is that it's going to be on the chopping block. So selfishly for me, I want to see this mountain, I want to experience it, because in five years, you might not be able to. If you were to log this area, there would be an initial maybe 10 year burst of lots of good blueberry leaves for deer to eat. Bears would be happy for a little while, and then a few years later, these trees would grow up and just block out the whole entire understory, and it creates this dead zone. You have about a 200 year cycle. You essentially cannot use the habitat if you log it. So this is a grandfather trail. This is where generations of bears have stepped in the same spot. Um, kind of grind their feet in so this trail could be hundreds or even thousands of years old. When I go into bear country, the message is that we're guests. Being here is accepting that there's consequence and that, that bears have uh, almost every advantage except they don't have guns. I am a bear attack survivor. I was leading a group of mountaineering students. I think I skied over a sow brown bear's den. She bit my leg and pulled me down. I fought her and then we rolled off the cliff. 
it's the middle of April. We're at 3,000 feet. I'm like trying to avoid avalanches and now I'm wrestling a fucking brown bear. This is not what I had planned. Even surviving this thing, I have no, I don't want to go kill bears. I think they're, I think that beyond being beautiful, that they're rightfully there. I see them as this kind of ultimate example of a complete ecosystem. lucky that the buck was just basically couldn't really see us and then hustled as fast as we could up to a good vantage point. Okay, he's starting to walk away. Do you have a shot? I do not take him. Okay, I'm going to take him. Deer is beautiful, we think it. Super lucky and super privileged to be able to live in close proximity and to eat this animal. My son, his first food is deer heart. He loves deer heart. And this will be shared with, with all of us. So thank you, deer. These deer in the Tongass are really impacted by clear-cut logging. Without these trees, the deer have nowhere to go in the winter and there's massive die-offs. Forrest and I were born here, we're not leaving. I have been in these woods since I was a little kid. If we let the Tongass be exempted, that means these wild, roadless areas, the last big stands of old growth forests are gonna be open for exploitation. And that also means that you as taxpayers are gonna pay to cut down ancient trees and negatively affect brown bears, sick of black-tailed deer, mountain goats, all these animals that call this place home. the wild creatures and wild lands and, and experiences that are there for the public, that are our, our heritage as citizens of this country, that is invaluable. The Tongass is your land. Take away the roadless rule from Tongass and you take away this opportunity to hunt wild animals for future generations.